The World Wide Web is used by millions of people every day, for everything checking the weather, ordering food, chatting with friends and sharing news. We use it from our computer, our phone, even our car. It's just there. All around us, all the time. But, what is it exactly? The World Wide Web is not the Internet. The Internet is simply the way computer connect to each other in order to share information. When the Internet first merged, computer actually made direct call to each other. Today, networks are all around us. So, computer can communicate seamlessly. The communication enabled through the Internet have many uses, such as email, file transfer, but the most common use is accessing the world wide web. So, who is the inventor of World Wide Web? Sir Timothy John Berners-Lee the man himself. Born June 8, 1955, also known as Tim B.L., is an English engineer and computer scientist. Berners-Lee was born in London, England, United Kingdom, one of four children born to Mary Lee Woods and Conway Berners-Lee. From 1969 to 1973, he attended Cheyne Mount Primary School, and then went on to attend South West London's Emmanuel School. From 1973 to 1976, where he received a first-class Bachelor of Arts degree in Physics. While he was at college, Berners-Lee made a computer out of an old television set, which he bought from a repair shop. After graduation, Berners-Lee worked as an engineer at the telecommunications company Plessy & Poole, Dorset. In 1978, he joined DG Nash & Ferndown, Dorset, where he helped create typesetting software for printers. In 1989, CERN was the largest internet node in Europe, and Berners-Lee saw an opportunity to join Hypertext with the internet. This is the history of World Wide Web started. In March 1989, CERN scientist Tim Berners-Lee wrote a proposal to develop a distributed information system for the laboratory. By Christmas 1990, Berners-Lee had defined the web's basic concepts, the URL, HTTP and HTML, and he had written the first browser and server software. URL, stands for Uniform Resource Locator, is the address of a worldwide web page. HTML, stands for Hypertext Markup Language, a standardized system for tagging text files to achieve font, color, graphic, and hyperlink effects on World Wide Web pages. HTTP, stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol. It is the protocol where encrypted HTTP data is transferred over a secure connection. In 1991, an early World Wide Web system was released to the high-energy physics community via the CERN program library. It included the simple browser, web server software and a library, implementing the essential functions for developers to build their own software. On August 6, 1991, Tim Berners-Lee posted a summary of the World Wide Web project on several internet news groups, including Alt Hypertext, which was for Hypertext enthusiasts. Hypertext is a text that contains links to other source information which reader can immediately access with just a mouse click. The most implementation of Hypertext is World Wide Web. So, basically any text you can click in World Wide Web is Hypertext. On December 12, 1991, the first web server outside of Europe was installed at the Stanford Linear Accelerator Center Slack in California. In 1993, the National Center for Supercomputing Applications at the University of Illinois released its Mosaic browser, which was easy to run and install on ordinary PCs and Macintosh computers. On April 30, 1993, CERN issued a statement putting the web into the public domain, ensuring that it would remain an open standard. World Wide Web became free software, available to all. 
By late 1993, there are over 500 known web servers, and the web accounts for 1% of internet traffic. By the end of 1994, the web had 10,000 servers, of which 2,000 were commercial, and 10 million users. Traffic was equivalent to shipping the collected works of Shakespeare every second. In October 1994, Tim Berners-Lee founded the World Wide Web Consortium W3C at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology Laboratory for Computer Science in collaboration with CERN and with support from DARPA and the European Commission. Today, the World Wide Web is still continually growing. The milestone of 1 billion websites was first reached in September of 2014, as confirmed by Netcraft in its October 2014 web server survey and first estimated and announced by Internet Live Stats. Imagine, from one website in 1991 to 1 billion in 2014, and January 2018, there are over 1,805,260,010 websites on the World Wide Web. And that's it for the history of World Wide Web. Thank you for watching.